What's up you guys, Nathan Bell here doing a Diamond Select review on the Marvel Select Age of Ultron Black Widow. So before we get her out here, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So in the front, it's got the really big Diamond Select window display with the figure inside. And then at the bottom it says Avengers Initiative. Then it has Black Widow with uh, the Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron movie logo. Then at the top it says Marvel Select. And then on the side, man, you got a pretty good picture of Scarlett Johansson. Then on the back you have the, uh, the figure itself. Wait a minute, Ah. Then as a quick read up, I'll kind of just go up and down slow, just so you guys can read that if you'd like. This is sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios, and then you have uh, the Hulk Thor, and then on the back kind of has the pictures of Iron Man, Cap, Thor, and the Hulk. So let's get her out of the packaging to take a closer look. So here she is out of the packaging, man. So before I get into the figure, let's just take a quick look at the accessories she came with, man. I'm so excited about this review. Um, so here is the display base. This is great, man. This is really heavy. It's, it's really, really big. I mean, compared to the figure, this a great, I mean, this alone, man. I mean, this figure, I paid about 28 bucks on eBay for it. And this alone, this would, this would probably go for 10 to 15 bucks on eBay. But uh, just great detail in it. You can see all like the white dry brushing on you know all the equipment and stuff, man. The bunker right there. You can see all like the blue dry brushing on there. This is just a great piece, man. It's very solid, very heavy. So this alone, it's it's worth whatever you know the retail price is of this because this is just great in itself, man. Just really great washes and paint and dude, Diamond nailed it. They just nailed it. And then uh, here, are her two batons. Let's see if I can focus up a little bit. These are great too. Very nice paint. So on the bottom you got the silver paint, and then you got the black, and then uh, you have the very light blue color with the little tiny black decos on there, and that goes for the, the other one too. These are fantastic, man. They came out fairly straight. I don't think I'd have to blow dry these to get them in the position I want because they're both pretty straight, man. Very, very straight. And then uh, she came with a little black gun. No washes or anything like that. It's just I think it's just molded in and just black plastic but still I'm glad she came with a gun this time because I don't think the Marvel Legends one came with a gun did she for the Winter Soldier series you guys should let me know in the comments below I'm not entirely sure I don't think she did but I'm glad she came with a gun at least and then she came with a pair of uh, interchangeable hands which these are great you can see how it's got like the gray padding and then the rest of the hand is black with like the gold knuckles man I think that's great I these look so good man I'm so excited about this that goes for the other hand which is like the the trigger finger hand so very, 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 very nice. So, let's get into the figure. Oh, man, look at this figure, man. They nailed it. So, I'm just going to start at her head sculpt. I think that looks a lot like Scarlett Johansson, man. I really do. I think it looks more like Scarlett Joe than the Marvel Legends did. I feel like the head on the Marvel Legends looked way, way too big. This is, That's not for the new one that's coming out. That's for the Winter Soldier one. I just think something looked really off about that head sculpt. So, just great. I think they did really good with the eyes, the eyebrows, the lips, man, just everything. I just think it looks awesome. Her eyebrows are painted very nicely. You can kind of see where, like, her eyeliner on this side is kind of off the eye, and on this side it's laid on too thick, but that doesn't bother me at all. Then the washes in her hair, you can see how there's some brown, even some yellow in there, not just a solid color. So I think that looks good with the brown and some yellow on the red hair, man. That just looks great. And so the deco on her suit, you can see all, like, the different sculpt workings in there. It just looks awesome, man. It's got her gun holder. I'll show you how that works. I mean, clearly you know how it works, but that you can just slide that right in there, man. So I thought that was cool. That's not just, you know, gunked up with the plastic. You can actually put that in there. So Then her belt, that just fell out, so I'm just going to put that aside. Her belt is really great. You can see it's got, like, the Black Widow symbol right there, and then you have some uh, silver paint just for, you know, just some belt loops and stuff. And I don't really know what that is, man. It kind of looks like a walkie. And then the gun holster. And on the back, just, oh, man, Scarlet Joe. Um, and then uh, you, you got the pattern with the blue going up the side. That goes all the way up to the figure. If I can just focus up a little bit. Then it also goes, goes down the arm. And then uh, her forearm has the red in there, which I don't know. I don't think these are bullets in the film. I don't know if that's to, like, charge her little nightsticks. I'm not really sure. And then her hands also have, just like the other interchangeable hands, they have the, uh, the gold with the gray, so I like that a lot, man. Very, very cool. And then her feet, man, and I'll get into the articulation a little later. Just, you know, I just want to show you guys her, 
You know, she's got like the high heel boots going on. You can see like the straps with the gray. Also on uh, the lower leg, you can see the straps with the gray. And then you get some silver paint. I'm not really sure what those are. I don't know. They look like darts on her leg, but I doubt they are, man. I mean, those definitely aren't darts. Then her knee pads are very nice also. You can see how they're gray with the rest of the leg being black. She has the gray stripe going up. And then on the side, you have the blue, like just like on the other side. So very nice looking figure, man. Very, very nice. I think they did a great job with all the paint apps. Nothing looks mispainted to me besides her eyes, which I don't even care about that, man. I've been waiting so long for a Marvel Select. Scarlett Johansson Black Widow figure that I, this just blew me away, man. The likeness is just it's just wild. So uh, let's get into some quick articulation. So her foot can go up about that far and go back about that. And it does have ankle pivot. This is what I just wanted to tell you guys. Watch this shit, man. Her heel doesn't even move, man. It's just pre pretty much her shoe that has the ankle pivot. So I thought that was wild. Then has a calf swivel that can do a full 360. Has a double jointed knee. And it has a uh, thigh swivel. Her leg can kick up about that far, and it goes back about that, and she can do a full split. Boom. And then uh, she has no waist swivel, but she does have a diaphragm joint, which can go forward about that much. And it can go back about that, and it does have a little bit of a pivot, and it can do a full 360. Her wrist has a swivel that can do a full 360, and then it's also on a hinge, but it's not like a normal hinge. It's got to be positioned like this to go up and to go down, and then you have to put it like this to go side to side. She has a single jointed elbow that goes to a 90 degree angle, and it's also on a ball joint, so that can do a full 360. Her arm can go up about that far, it goes down about that, and it does do a full 360. So her head, the hair kind of restricts it, but not too bad. It goes down about that far, and goes down up, sorry, up about that far, and it can do a full 360, and does have a little bit of a pivot. So I want to do some size comparison for uh, the other like Avengers figures that have come out. So here is the Hulk. Can't even get him in the whole shot, man, but that gives you guys just a, you know, an idea how big the Hulk is compared to Black Widow. So I think that's a very good scale. The Hulk might be a little bit too big. I don't think so. I think the Hulk's supposed to be like just monstrous, man. But And then here is Ant-Man. So there is Ant-Man. And I, think, uh, I don't think Black Widow's too tall. I think this is a pretty good comparison. Paul Rudd, the actor in general, is kind of short, so I think that scales really really well so and she stands at about I can just get my ruler right here at about seven inches so I hope you guys enjoyed my review if you did please hit the like button if you want to see more of my videos please hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys later peace